So we're here at uh, GoPro here at Photokina, and who are you? I'm Isabel, hi, nice to meet you. And uh, you have a new GoPro? That's right, so we just today came on the market with the new uh, Hero 7 Black. I'm gonna take it out of the case. So this is it. This is the new Hero 7 Black. So this has uh, optical image stabilization? This is it a has electronic image stabilization. So electronic. It's a, a three-axis image stabilization, um, and it's completely revolutionized. We call it hypersmooth. So we basically made sure that you do not need to use a gimbal anymore because we've introduced gimbal-like stabilization on this camera. Uh, and so it's stable. It has a microphone input. It does. So how does it work? The microphone. The microphone input. Yeah. So you need to um, use. You have on the side here, you have an adapter, so you need to use a um, HDMI adapter for a microphone and then you can input it. So the HDMI can either output the sound or uh, input output a the video or input the sound Correct. on the same port. Correct. And uh, how about the battery life? So it, of course it depends on a lot of different factors. One of them is temperature, but it's also um, what's setting the cameras in. The highest uh, work that the camera is doing would be, for example, in 4K, over 240 frames. And at, those, uh, at that performance, you have about 60 to 70 minutes uh, performance time, non-stop filming, at 4K or 240 frames. Uh, does it have a dual card slot? No, I'm joking a little bit. It does but not. It does not, right? A single card <laughs> slot, micro to. SD? That is right. The card slot is here at the bottom. I can show it to you. So there's the battery, and here you see the small card slot right next to it. So uh, GoPro's in invented this whole market, right? Kind of. Uh, it's a huge. You could say How that. big is it? <laughs> <laughs> How many GoPros have you sold? Oh, since the beginning? I'm not yeah. sure. I'll have to look that up, to it's be honest. It's probably many millions. It's a lot. It's a lot? For sure. But this is definitely the best ever. So this is absolutely the best ever. Um, it has, uh, like I said, the most incredible image stabilization, but video isn't the only thing. Its photo capabilities are also amazing. You can shoot raw photo. We've introduced super photo, which is a mode that automatically sets a lot of different things for you. So you don't have to worry about HDR, WDR. It'll uh, make sure that you have all those features completely automized and picks the best photo for you. And uh, what's with the screen here? Is it still the same size as before? or? something new about it? So the form factor of the Hero 7 Black is the same as the Hero 6. Um, we've just changed a whole bunch of stuff inside. All right, so it's still a very uh, weird display. And um, yeah, the, so the display is the same size for sure, but the um, user interface is a lot more intuitive. So we've kind of modeled it a little bit after what people are used to from their smartphones. So there's a lot of swiping, tapping, and you can also uh, tilt the camera now um, to a vertical image and then the screen will tilt along with it and you'll be able to um, also record vertical footage. And there's no risk that if you're doing some uh, loops that suddenly the image flips while you... So once you start filming... You started filming is exactly, once you start filming that's where it will lock so that if you do a backflip it'll stay in that um, aspect. And it has unlimited recording, no 30 minute limit. Uh, it depends on the um, card that you have in it, and once that's full, it'll of course start uh, stop recording. And it works in super freezing temperature, all the all well, the weathers. Freezing temperatures will affect battery life, but that's not a, a GoPro specific thing. You will experience that with any battery you use in small and cold temperatures. And so there's a lot of other companies kind of copying GoPro, you know. But uh, what makes GoPro better than everything else? It's just, to be completely honest, on the one hand, it's uh, it's definitely a better camera. Like, we have the 4K60, and even at that frame rate, we have um, the hyper-smooth image stabilization, which at the moment is the best on-camera stabilization out there. Um, then what comes along with it is a whole ecosystem that really helps users create the best footage they can. So not just the hardware, but also the editing software and the algorithms inside of this camera just make it the best on the market. Is hypersmooth uh, by default, or you can turn it off also, or no? there's no need to turn it off? Well, you can turn it off, of course. Uh, there might be situations where you really want to show how shaky something is, and then um, you have the option to turn it off. Um, we have also applied hypersmooth to another setting on the camera, so to the time lapse, and we've introduced something we call time warp, which is a super stabilized time lapse uh, video in the end, um, so that if you have 
something like walking around on a trade show like Fotokina, um, you can compress that video into something very exciting and visually um, interesting. You have a cool app that works with it? We do have a cool app that works with it. Does it get updated, something new with it? Um, so, this is a longer story. Yeah. <laughs> this camera has become a lot more intelligent in that it is able to um, identify interesting parts on, of the footage on it. So it, it has smile recognition, it'll, it has scene recognition, and all of those things really help it to analyze the footage that's on it, which will then help our app afterwards to create incredible edits automatically. So we have the quick editing app, which uh, lets the camera offload footage automatically onto your smartphone, where the quick um, app will then edit a video automatically. Uh, is there any chance that a small camera like this uh, will at some point potentially have bokeh, you know, where it can focus, autofocus on, uh, on the face and then the rest will be out of focus? It doesn't exist, right? For this kind of camera. I don't know about this. I'm not entirely sure about what exactly is out there on the market, but this camera does not do it at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm not saying focus. everything's in focus. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm sure it is. Um, I'm not sure that's something we're working towards at the moment. Maybe something to do with AI, you know? Maybe. AI is such a big buzzword at the yeah. moment. Um, this camera is intelligent, but I think the word artificial intelligence might be describing something else than other. Than it's it's a word that's flying around a lot. But um, this camera is has a lot of intelligence in it, so to say. Like it's it analyzes the footage, and that's also the way that HyperSmooth works. It doesn't just reactively um, try to correct different bumps and shakes. It analyzes the footage that's on it and then proactively corrects for all these movements. So it's, it, has, it has intelligence in it. You can choose 24, 25, 30 frames per second or is only 4K60? No, you can, there's all kinds of different, um, that, that's just, so the highest resolution is 4K at 60 frames and the highest frame rate is 240 frames. Is it H265? The file are very compressed? You're not too big? I don't know. Okay. What's the H265? Is that? H HTVC, right? HTVC. So that's what it's using. Yes. So it's, it can keep the file size, but it's still YouTube compatible. Yeah. And, uh, sure, you get an MP4 out of it. All right. Great. Uh, and what's the price? And uh, is it available now? or? So in Europe, we uh, it came on the market today, so on the 27th. Um, I don't know if you want to know euros or dollars, or <laughs> I have it all. So in euros, this, the Hero 7 Black, will cost 429 euros. And dollars, it's 399.